G'day and welcome to Emperor's Crusade and welcome to a, another Warhammer 40,000 battle report. Today it's the Necrons versus the Crimson Fists. So we're here fighting in this abandoned, reclaimed and overgrown industrial area of an unknown, unnamed planet which seems to have secretly been uh, developed by the Imperium. Uh, some sort of manufactorium going on here, uh, once thriving but now abandoned. The Necrons have shown up in the sector uh, and nearby the uh, famous and infamous Crimson Fists are defending the area. They've come down to fight against the Necrons and Ben has bought his Crimson Fists freshly painted. Um, we haven't seen these guys before. Uh, the last time you saw Ben was his Dark Angels. I think he versed the Orcs. So, first time for him versing the Necrons on the channel. And the first time for the, um, uh, for the Crimson Fists. So, let's have a look at the armies. Uh, it's 2,000 points. And we'll, um, we're going to do a random mission and deployment. I'm thinking we'll do a Maelstrom of War mission from uh, Chapter Approved 2018. So yeah, those guys would be the first Maelstrom of War mission on the channel. I don't usually play them. I find them a little bit random, but I think it'll be fun for us both here today. Let's take a look at the armies and then we'll get on with the mission. All right, so here we are looking at 2000 points or 1996 points of Necrons. It is a battalion and an air wing detachment. The battalion is Mephret, which is uh, minus one to the AP within half range of the shooting weapons. And the air wing detachment is Sawtech, which is uh, move and fire at full ballistic skill with their heavy weapons, which is handy for them. Uh, leading the force today, actually not leading the force today, but present on the battlefield is Mahim as Overlord, uh, standard kit and um, Warside, of course. Uh, he has got uh, Artifact of the Aeon, the Veil of Darkness, he'll be jumping around the table. But the Warlord is actually Cryptek Izik. Um, he'll be leading the force today under the instruction of Mahim himself. Uh, he is just a Cryptek with Staff of Light and Chronometron. And over here, another Cryptek, Thoth. He is also the same. He has a Staff of Light and the Chronometron, which is five up invol saves to shooting weapons uh, within a bubble of them. Uh, the Warlord trait I'm gonna take for Izik is Immortal Pride. So there's a Fearless Bubble around him and he gets to deny one Psychic Power per turn as per the normal rules for psychers. In the troops, we've got 40 Necron Warriors with the Gauze Flayers. Um, they're in two squads of 20, and I've got 10 Gauze Immortals here with their Gauze Blasters. Elites, I've got a Treyarch Stalker with twin heavy Laz, Laz, <laughs> twin heavy Gauze Cannon. Um, and also elites, I have 10 Treyarch Praetorians with the uh, pistols and close combat weapons, can't remember their names. Um, particle casters, I think the pistols are called. And hyperphase swords, something, something. Anyway, pretty cool. Um, fast attack is uh, six wraiths, uh, just standard loadout, nothing special. Um, and that's the battalion. And then going on to the air wing detachment is simply just three doom sides. So, that is 2,000 points for Necrons. Let's go have a look at the Crimson Fists. Okay, so 2,000 points of Crimson Fists. 100% infantry. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting game. So tell us uh, what you got here. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. We have a acting chapter master. Mm -hmm. Pedro is currently in a state of unpainted at the moment. All oh, so right, okay. He, he's on his way. His armor's being repaired. Indeed. Yep. Uh, we have three units of five intercessors. Each of the sergeants has a power sword. Uh, we have three aggressors. We have the ancient and a lieutenant with a power sword. Then we have 
four units of <laughs> Cold Blasters. Yep. And for those of you thinking, ah, oh, rule of three, it's three units. One of them is using combat squads. Yeah, nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cheeky. Uh, we have four Inceptors. We have another three units of Intercessors, a second Captain, a second Lieutenant, and... One little Devastator squad to fill yeah. in some anti-tank roll. I bet those guys feel small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like <laughs> surrounded by Sometimes Primaris. Hellblasters just don't cut it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or they just kill themselves, which is what I'm looking forward to. Um, so this is a double d- double battalion? Correct. Nasty. What's the Warlord trait that you've got? Uh, the Warlord trait is refuse to die. Okay. He after being reduced to zero wounds, may stand back up at the end of the phase on a four plus. Okay. So he's basically a Necron. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have three relics. The chapter master has the Fist of Vengeance. Uh, The Ancient is wearing Armor Indomitus. And um, my lieutenant here has Duty's Burden. Okay, what's that? Super Bolt Rifle. Super Bolt Rifle. Cheeky. All right, so I've got to remember all those things <laughs> while we're playing. Uh, yeah, how many how many infantry have you counted them? Uh, it'd be 30, 50, 55, just over 60. Yeah, with two wins each, <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> with two yeah, wins yeah. each, apart from the ball that we've got Yeah, the yeah. Squad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, this is going to be an interesting game. So we are going to play... Um, a Maelstrom of War mission. Uh, we haven't looked at which one yet, but we'll get around to that. Um, we've taken out our faction cards, just because um, Ben's got a different um, set of cards here today. Yeah, new codex, quite, haven't quite got everything yet. So. Yeah, so new codex for the Space Marines just dropped last weekend, I think, uh, or weekend about, before. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're going to use Dark Angels cards. We've taken out the Dark Angels cards and the Necron cards from my stack as well, yeah. just to make it fair. But anyway, um, Let's go on and see what the mission ends up being. Okay, so we uh, have rolled for the mission. The mission is uh, Visions of Victory. It's from the um, chapter approved 2018 book. Um, Basically, it's a Maelstrom game where uh, six cards are removed from the decks. We've already done that just by chance. Um, And then when you pull cards out, you pull two each um, at a time, and your opponent gets to take one away, um, which can be generated later, and tells you basically which one you can keep. So sort of pseudo control over your objectives. Um, I have played this once before. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. So um, deployment, uh, we rolled off and um, Ben chose Vanguard Deployment, so that's diagonals down the table. Uh, He chose this side to deploy on, and he's all deployed it up there. Um, What do we got over here? So we have Intercessors with Stalker Bolt Rifles and the the Missile Launchers, yep. Uh, Supported by their Captain and Lieutenant. Um, I will endeavour to switch between Lieutenant and Lieutenant all game, just to go with the the team you mean. Nice. Uh, Two units of Intercessors here, ready to jump on objectives. It's a huge blob over here. Yeah, the, the huge. Pretty blob. much everyone's in there. All twenty of the hill blasters and several intercessor units here, plus the aggressors over there yep. on the flank. And the guys. And the interceptors are in the clouds somewhere yep. on their way down. Okay, so deep striking with the interceptors. Are they called? Inceptors. Inceptors. Right, without the interceptor. Yes. Okay, uh, just to be just to be tricky. Uh, and on uh, the Necron side, we've got the Wraiths flanking. I've actually gone right up against the deployment edge. Um, right up against the deployment edge. Um, uh, so objectives, we've got three here, uh, two here. Is that five? Yep. Five over there. One just in front of these guys just here. Um, four where the wraiths are. Um, he's actually on top of one, which is number six. And that's all of them. Um, so yeah, uh, Triarch Stalker up on this platform here. Uh, Praetorians on the right-hand flank. Um, they're in a bit of cover there. Well, not really cover, but uh, they look like they are. Um, all the warriors are out the front here. Cryptex in the middle. Um, Lord 
uh, Overlord, sorry, is there and the Immortals. As I said, Wraith over there. And then right in the back corner with the Flyers there. So at this stage, Necrons have first turn. So Ben would like to seize, of course. Um, he reckons if he can get rid of one of the Flyers, he may avoid... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's, it's a three. No, six. does not seize. Necrons will go first. Um, interesting battle here because neither of us knew what we were taking. We knew what armies we were bringing, but not what was in them. Uh, so we're definitely not uh, counter to each other. Uh, so it's going to be a tough fight for us both. Anyway, we'll go on to turn one for Necrons. Okay, Necron uh, movement phase turn one is complete. Uh, we went through the cards. Uh, here are the ones that I have, no prisoners. So destroy uh, an enemy unit um, during my turn or between three and five and get D3 or six units and get D3 plus three points. Uh, over here, secure objective five. Uh, five is uh, over there in the corner, impossible. Um, yeah, this is the, so, we had to draw two point uh, two cards, and um, Ben got to remove the ones that are more likely for me to get, and then give me the shit ones. <laughs> so defend objective one. Uh, one is over where this blob is. Not going to happen. Uh, defend objective six though. Uh, it's a good one right here with the uh, the stalker there. Basically uh, moved up here. Did not run with this uh, squad here. Uh, we've moved up just a little bit of range there with some of the models to those units. Moved across here with this unit and um, Thoth the Cryptek to objective four just in case we get something for them. I ran with the uh, Praetorians. They jumped over here, just up there. I only ran one inch uh, further. The three sides have moved up. They're targeting the massive blob of Space Marines there. Uh, should be an interesting catch if I can pull that off. Um, I used the Veil of Darkness with uh, Mahim and the Immortals. Um, ben played uh, Orspex Scanner, is it? Yes. Um, Stratagem, two points, and he was allowed to fire at this unit. Uh, he used his crack missiles and took out three of the Immortals. So uh, we're going to head on to shooting. Now I'm straight away going to use... Uh, the amalgamated targeting array or whatever it is for the three size. So it doesn't count as shooting, but they can't use their um, their, their dooms guns. Death rays? Death rays. <laughs> okay, so we worked out that it is going to be the point right there where Ben's marked. Um, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of units in there, so we'll... We might have to do this off camera because it's going to be a lot of fiddling it's around. Been, yeah, it will be. Um, but there's going to be a whole lot of model wounds coming through that um, that blob there. Hopefully, uh, if I roll well. Uh, so uh, we'll do that, and then I'll go into the normal shooting. All right. Uh, I feel terrible. <laughs> um, so we've used the amalgamated targeting data stratagem, and. Um, this is what is left over here. Um, so how many did I kill That's what I was just with that? Out. So we're just trying to work out how many models we've killed with it. Uh, the ch chapter master is currently slain, but he may get back up using his relic. Is it a relic? Uh, no, it's his warlord trait. Uh, warlord trait. Uh, but he got slapped by... Um, 15, I killed... 14... 15, including the chapter master. Uh, 15 including the chapter master I've removed with that one stratagem rolled really really well um, With the units being five or more models it kind of helped as well uh, So three up to give d3 d3 model wounds. Yeah, rolled really well uh, So yeah, I feel terrible, but at the same time it's kind of satisfying uh, Because that's never worked for me before <laughs> I've killed like one space marine before with that uh, and wasted the shots of the doom cannons so, um, yeah, that opens the shooting phase. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over here. Uh, so I need to kill units for no prisoners. Um, so I'm going to try and get this unit here uh, with the immortals there. So 
So I've got how many left? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so 14 shots. Hitting on twos, because my will be done from my him. That's all of them, that's good. And wounding on threes, your toughness four, I see you. Wounding on threes. Um, and these are at negative three because of my dynasty, which is negative one AP. So there you go. Six up. You just made some. Three. So one, two, three, four. Uh, gone, which is not nice. So getting there, um, but that model is still there, unfortunately, which means that unit is not destroyed. Did I actually destroy any units over there? No. No, okay. Damn. Okay, just to make it worth it, I'm gonna put the Laz cannons, uh, sorry, the Gauze cannons uh, from the Stalker into that last Marine there. That's the last guy in the squad, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. Two shots, uh, hitting on uh, threes, both hit, twos to wound, both wound, and neg four, d6 damage. So he's gone. Right, there's a point. And we're in range. So five of these uh, warriors here are gonna fire at this front into, whatever they're called, Hellblaster Hell squad. Uh, only uh, threes to hit, and fours to wound. It's only one wound, um, and it's neg one, but you've got cover. Ah, oh, so it's still, it's just one still damage. one damage, yeah. Yeah, so one wound on that guy. Um, no more fire from anyone else except for the flyers. So this one over here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fire at that. So he's on his own. Yep. I'll go at him. So eight shots. Are there any negs to hit on him? No. Okay, so sixes will generate more. Um, so it generates two more. And winning on threes. My rolling is really good today. Uh, no AP, so just normal armor saves there for you. And ah, got him. Okay, it's another squad gone. Okay, the next one uh, is this unit. That's yeah, just two, just two on their own. Okay. Yes, that looks right. I'll try and and one's wounded, isn't he? No. Okay. Uh, so sixes generate extra. My rolling is impeccable today. Winning on threes. Jeez. No neg. So just normal armor saves. Uh, one, two, three. Is that enough? Yes, that's enough for them as well. Nice. Oh, yeah, because they get to shoot as well, don't they? The At the other guy. So yeah. I might for that now. Two of them get to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll continue trying to destroy Yeah, them. so just to mention, this is only on two wounds left. Um, it uh, got. <laughs> I can't pre roll that, can I? No. Um, yeah, so he's got the uh, the flag there, or whatever it's called, what's it? Uh, it's just a company standard, which means on a four plus, any model that is slain nearby can either shoot or punch. Yeah. Um, so they all fired back when yeah. I model wounded them. Yeah, so uh, it's, and it's on fours, but yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, on this occasion, I just play missed. Okay, so uh, the last flyer, uh, what other squads have you got that are low here? Um, there's three of them, there's two of them. I might fire at the squad that's got two. Yep. Threes to hit, that's not so good. I think that was a six. I hope it was a six, it rolled over. Um, and threes to wound, so there's three wounds there, can't kill them. <laughs> but almost did. So one wound left on one of those. Okay. And that's how you get to shoot. Oh, yep. yep, he shoots back. Same model. So the same thing. He hits. Wound and neck four. Neck four, two damage. Two damage, so it's gone. Fire gone. Um, does it explode? 
does not. Okay, that's, that's an eye for an eye. Or maybe... Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> uh, right. I think that's all the shooting that we can do uh, this turn. Uh, no assaults. I'm not going to assault. There's the wraiths are actually in range to assault, but I don't think I want to at this stage. Um, Into the phase. Ah, okay, yep. Let's see if he gets up. up. No, no, command. command. Oh, it's a two. Is that the warlord? Yep. Okay, so an absolutely brutal turn. Uh, turn one for the Necrons. Feeling very, very salty about it, uh, even though I wasn't the target. But um, we'll continue on. I'm sure the Space Marines have things up their sleeve that can tip the tide. That was a new strong codex. Okay, we'll go on to Space Marines turn one. Okay, so here are the cards that uh, have worked out for Ben. Um, advance, uh, score a victory point um, if there's nothing within your deployment zone. Um, I picked that for him. <laughs> uh, he's trying, he is actually moving out. <laughs> You're doing all right. But um, a different strategy to it, I think. Uh, big Game Hunter, so one of the Flyers or the Triarch Stalker to be destroyed. Uh, blood and Guts, uh, destroy something in combat. And Defend Objective 3 which is right, right in the middle there. So it's a nice hard one for him. Um, so he's gone ahead and moved. Uh, he's actually moved up with pretty much all the units here. Um, and all the units over that side of the table as well, I believe, except for the missiles. Yeah, actually I've forgotten to move this unit. Okay, okay. go ahead, yep. Okay, so the, uh, this movement, uh, unit has moved up. They're pretty close to the Praetorians right now. Um, as I said, the missiles uh, stayed still, but the Lieutenant is that a lieutenant or a captain? That's a captain and a lieutenant. And that's a lieutenant. Okay, right. They've moved up towards the uh, squad with Mahin there. Uh, so going on to shooting phase. Yes. What are you going to do? I should start with the aggressors. Okay, these guys are nasty. Yeah. And they're going to have three little shots from... Sorry. Each one of them has a D6. So three D6 shots from their frag assault launchers. So yep. Three, seven. Seven shots. And this is at the race, I yes, assume? Yes, this is yep. at the race. All at the race, yep. Um, the the there's, ones there's, are real. There's all the things I can't re-roll anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then to wound their toughness five. Toughness five, yeah. Okay, so just the one wound from that. Okay, what's us uh, save up three up in yep. on them. All good. Okay, 18 shots, is it? Yeah. Nice. Yep, pretty good. So 14 hits. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how many of those were sixes. Um, maybe four, maybe four or five. That's four extra hits. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, wounding on? Wounding on five still. Five, so okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. Five saves. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's uh, a wraith gone and one wounded. Damn. Okay, that squad. The unit of intercessors with the auto bolt rifles is firing next. That's 15 shots because they're assault three now. Nice. Um, who are they shooting at? Uh, still the race. Still the race, okay. Right, so one, two, six, so that's two extra hits. Nice. Oh, is that the. Uh, um, that's the Crimson Fist trap. Cr yeah, nice. Bad. Nice. Captive Tack Duck. Yeah. Nice. One of those words. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three, four wounds. Four wounds. Four saves. Uh, uh, one uh, failed, so. This guy's on one wound remaining at the back there. Who next? Alright, uh, this unit is using the steady advance uh, stratagem, which means they are counted essentially as being stationary for the purposes of bulk discipline. Okay, right. So they'll be rapid firing through at the, at the warrior, warrior squad here. There. Yep. It's a fair few shots too. Yeah, it's just going to be 10. Mm -hmm. But six is. Six explode, don't they? Explode, yeah. So six so that comes a hit, and that goes away, and those go away. Yep. And four station. Yeah, top is four. Right, I can reroll the ones. Uh, so there's five wounds there. Five and negatives. Neg one. Neg one, so five yes. ups. Five up saves. Nope, five die. Okay. Not six. bad. One, two. Five. And five are gone from that squad. Right. Quick squeeze of who's who here. You are unit three. Alright, so this sergeant here is overcharging at. Okay, sergeant overcharging at the flyer there. It's going for big game hunter, I assume. Yeah, still, yep. still out of rapid fire range, unfortunately. Yep. That is a hit. That is a wound. It's a wound. Uh, negative. Oh yeah, four. okay. So two damage, two damage yeah. on him. So he's got ten left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three shots from the other unit. Other unit. These are hell blasters as well. Those become ones. Ah uh, yeah, minus one to hit. And that is a wound. So okay, another so another two off. And and Eight left. Both die, but they die in my turn next to a flag. So they get to shoot again. <laughs> oh, dies he dies again. <laughs> that one hits and does two more damage. Oh, wow. So it's half killed, that one there. Yep. Okay. Right. Good shot. They get removed. <laughs> it's funny that the Imperium still hasn't figured out how to make guns that don't explode and kill their own models. Yes. <laughs> It's also funny that yelling at them makes them less likely to explode. <laughs> True. I haven't tried that tactic. Well, maybe it's just really inspiring the machine spirit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, right, so these two are firing through at the warrior. At the warrior's here. Okay. A couple of shots there. Yep. That's missing. Two and a one. His pistol's out of range. He has a bolt where he'll shoot the warrior as well. Nope. Can't hit for All right. Uh, so, missiles at the fire. Yes, missiles yep. of the flyer. This funny red one will be hitting on threes. The others will be hitting on fours because we've got minus one. one. Yep. So and I can reroll the one. Mm-hmm. No, so two hits. Winning on threes. Yep. That's uh, two, two wounds. wounds Neg three. Yes. Six ups. Nope. Two d six damage. Yep. Uh, Five, six, eight seven, damage. eight. Wow. Four left on him. Okay. Can he bring one of these down? Six on one and four on the other. All right, I should have declared the bolter from the sergeant. There. That's cool, go ahead. Yep. Uh, he will be firing next. He's in rapid fire range yep. with his relic bolter. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets to reroll the ones for the captain. He yep. gets to win. Four hits, that's strength five. Reroll ones for himself. Mm -hmm. that three, so three wounds. wounds at neg two. Neg two. So these are five up against the immortals, and three more die. And okay, seven from that squad gone. Yep. The captain will fire at 
then as well with mm-hmm. the stalker. <laughs> Reroll for himself. <laughs> Hit and uh, that's Does not, not wound. No, you can't reroll that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they will attempt to finish that unit off. Yep, they've got a good chance. So Goodbye, go. immortals. Uh-huh. Wow. And fours. Negative. Negative one at the moment. So how many? It's just four wounds. Four wounds, negative one. So four up saves. E, two die. <laughs> <laughs> There's one left. It's nine gone. <laughs> it's got to kill one, otherwise they'll start getting back up. Yes. So, how are you going to do that? Uh, not with shooting. Okay, it's just going to try to assault. Yeah, that's fair enough. Shooting. Okay. All right. So, the captain is going to make a fairly long charge there. Okay, so I'll do a yeah, watch. Yes, um, from the immortal, I assume you're charging him. Yes. And um, actually, one hit. He will charge. Charge both. both. Yeah, he's no over. No overwatch room. Uh, one hit, um, toughness. Four. Four, so three's the wound. It's a wound, neck three. Okay, four up invulnerable. He takes a wound. Okay. Okay. His charge distance is... Six. six. Mm. Ooh. That's just enough. Just enough to get him in. Very good. Uh, and I'll just verify his wounds. He should be easily be able to dispatch this final yes, immortal nice. over here. He has five. And the lieutenant's gonna try the same charge. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <he's> in. <laughs> okay. So it's becomes, the captain here? Yes. Fighting? Okay. So there's six attacks, the purple ones will be on the immortal. Purple on the immortal. Okay, All right. Rerolling ones, of course. Dice has gone outside. Right, I hit the immortal twice. <laughs> yep. I wound him once. Wound him once, Neg. Three. three. Six up save. Ah, he's alive. Right. And <laughs> oh, that's the brilliant. other four attacks were on the character. Yep, with on the character, yeah. I lost track of my dice. Yep, those ones. Yep. Uh, that's this. No, that's no, a hit. Hitting on two, so yeah. yeah. Um, toughness? Toughness five. Okay, so fives, that's yep. a pair of fives, I can re-roll one. Mm-hmm. That's a fail. Two, uh, two four up invuls, one goes through. How much damage? Okay, okay so one goes through. He's on four wounds remaining. Alright, the left turn is going to shoot, well not shoot, sorry, punch. Try to punch. Everything at the immortal. Yep. Because even if I do kill him, and you don't kill my immortal, I still have to then spend some CP to make him not run away. Yeah. So, it's not worth it. Uh, so, four wounds at... Four wounds. Straight. Four three-up saves. Nope, Go. it's gone. Okay. Squad destroyed. And uh, Warlord there is going to fight back. Uh, he's going to put it all on your... Dude. Captain, he's got three attacks with the war size, uh, hitting on twos, uh, winning on threes. Um, I will re-roll that one and stratagem. Yep, three wounds. Four Fatal three. Fatal three, and I think a war size is two damage. Well, I will command point re-roll that one. And <laughs> okay. it's going really well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so six damage, I'm pretty sure, on um, your captain there. Okay. Well, that will be the death Does that mean he's dead? Does yeah. he get up? No. Excellent. <laughs> Yay. Good stuff. But you did kill a unit in combat. I did. Which means you get your, your point. Okay, so last turn, let me just uh, summarize. For the Necrons, I ended up getting no prisoners. I killed four units and then rolled on a D3, a five, so that point is worth three. That's what I picked up last turn. So what did you succeed in this uh, turn? I succeeded only blood and guts. Blood and guts, you killed a model in units. Yeah, in so combat. Big Game Hunter was not quite successful yet. Nope. Uh, objective objective three is in, in the middle. And I've just discarded advance. Okay, so discarded advance, good idea. 
Um, I discarded objective one last turn uh, for myself. Uh, so blood and guts succeeded for you. That's a point. Yep. Um, and for those playing along at home, I will be moving on to the tactical doctrine for the next turn. What's that? Uh, so instead of having an extra AP on heavy weapons and grenades, it's now on rapid fire and assault weapons. Right. So okay. the majority of my bolt rifles are now minus two. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we'll go into turn two for the Necrons. We'll generate some new objectives and uh, do some movement. Okay, movement uh, for turn two, Necrons complete. Uh, just to mention, my Defend Objective 6 uh, did um, go off at the end of his turn. Um, uh, for this turn, really, really bad objectives. So he's done well to, to get me away from some good ones. Uh, secure Objective 5 and Defend Objective 5, priority orders. This one had to be done by uh, the Warlord. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Um, objective five all the way over there in the corner. Uh, secure six, got it, automatic, that's good. And domination, which is control every point on the battlefield at the end of my turn, not gonna happen. So I'll get one uh, this turn, but apart from that, I think I'm just gonna go for some kills. Uh, moved up uh, under here with a few of the warriors there, nothing special. Uh, still keeping Thoth the Crypt deck safe over there. I reanimated two of the five missing warriors here and they've moved up a little bit. Um, advanced with the race, we've got a stratagem we can use to charge after uh, running. Uh, the two flyers have moved up the other side of the battlefield there and um, 10 inches with the Praetorians here up to this squad there. Mahim is still in combat there with the lieutenant. Uh, hopefully be able to smack him which would be a bit of fun. Uh, right, so we'll go on to shooting. Um, first things first, the Triarch Stalker should always shoot first um, because the re-roll ones. You can see those things here, what are they? Those are the aggressors. Aggressors, so he's going to fire at them. Uh, threes to hit and strength nine. Okay. Are they toughness? Four. Are there any? Oh, okay. uh, sorry, no, five. So threes, okay, there we go. Uh, neg three, neg four. Neg four. Yep. Uh, I don't get to save them. Okay, 2d6. Two and then six, so. Then you got two wins each. Oh, sorry, yeah, true. Two and then six, so yeah. only one dies. One dies, yeah. Over here, we've got 10 pistols. Go into that squad we're in front of. Hitting on threes. And pretty poor. Uh, strength six, no AP. Actually, minus one AP because the Mephret dynasty. Uh, so winning on threes. That's three wounds at neg one. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> nice. Okay, so one goes down and one's wounded. So I'll do, I'm gonna play a stratagem point to make sure this is firing at full ballistic mm -hmm. skill. Um, and that one's just over his, his halfway range, so he's okay to fire at full ballistic skill. Um, so this one here, I'm going to do the Dooms Cannon into, sorry, the aggressors. Death Ray into the Aggressors. Yep. And I'll do the Tesla into this unit. Yeah. Of the plasma of, dudes? Of one, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's only one? Yeah, okay, well. Because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's worth it. You know, plasma it's routine. worth it, yeah. yeah. That's that little problem. <laughs> okay, so the, the big, big gun first, excuse me. Uh, D3 shots. It's three. Uh, hitting on threes, re rolling ones. There's a one there, that's nice. That's hits. Winning on twos, strength 10. And neg four. Okay, well I can't say. You um, guys automatically. Yep. So dead and then dead. Eight. Six damage. Yep. Okay. Um, 
eight shots from the Tesla. One, two, three, eight into that single guy. Uh, hitting on threes is a six there. I think we're going to have to get these dice tested. I think they're. <laughs> They feel a little bit uh, rolling too well today. Um, and threes to wound. Okay, maybe they're not rolling so well. I believe the aggressors were in range of the standard when they died. So okay, they yeah, yeah. In the moment. Yep, cool. Uh, it was, sorry, who's this at? Uh, this is at that last, last one guy there. And four wounds come through. No negative. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's that? He's okay, he's gone. Times there. Okay, <laughs> cool. He gets to shoot though, right? Potentially. Uh, he, he may also do that, yeah. Uh, yep, yes, he does. Yes. So okay. he will overcharge at the wounded. Yep, overcharging, uh, two hits. Five times. And what's that? Not quite. Two, he's not going to do not much. Not going to do it. Uh, what about the... Right, so the aggressors. Aggressors. Two of them get to shoot. Mm-hmm. I What's will, your target? I will command point re-roll that three. Yep. Yeah, good. Paid so, off. So all three of them get to shoot. Now, I've just double-checked the wording of this rule. Mm -hmm. Aggressors get to shoot twice if they did not move this turn. Ah, so you get turn. to shoot twice, even though they're dead. <laughs> the cheese is real. Okay, at the so, wraiths, I see. Yeah, this will be at the wraiths. Yep. Okay, yep. So, so it's pretty good. They're desperate. And twos are going to miss still. Yep. But sixes explode because it's bolters and nine comes in fists. Uh -huh. So that's 18 hits out of the first yep. volley. So fives to wound. Uh, this is still to hit. Oh, okay, right. Uh, oh, you're doing it twice. Yeah, of course. So that's 37 hits. Mm -hmm. So five sweet. Five sweet. So okay, twelve wraith saves of three plus. One. Okay, so one. This guy dies, yep. and then another wraith dies, and then one's left on one wound. Okay. There we go. But wait. But there's wait, more. there's more. Uh, What's this? So the frag assault launches. Yep, D3 shots each or D6 D6 shots? D6 shots each, I think. 19 shots. Fives and sixes. Yeah, one more shot though. Right. Uh, one, two, three. Three, four. four. Okay, three up saves. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. So another wraith dies, and another one's left on that many wounds. Oh dear. <laughs> Lucky they're fearless. <laughs> that was brutal. So just killing those things alone cost me three wraiths. Wow. I've got to get rid of that banner, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, um, so that's shooting from one of the flyers. <laughs> Uh, the next one um, will target this unit. Sure. Is that a unit That's there? A unit of five, correct. Okay, right. We're going against that. So all the weapons. So D three shots from the cannon. One. He on threes. Hits. Wounds on twos. And that's D six damage. So one dies. And then. Eight shots from the Tesla. Threes to hit, sixes grant extra hits. And wounding on threes. Wow. Wow. That's eight. <laughs> so eight saves, no negatives. Very good. Yep. Uh, so two fails there. Two fails, so another one dies. And he gets to shoot on four pluses, don't doesn't he? Yep. Yeah. Certainly do. Yeah. So one does. Oops. Get that dice back. Uh, one does. Um, the race, I assume. Mm, yes, at this point, definitely uh -huh. race. Hit 
one stat thing is. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, a wound. Wait. Yep, three up. Yep, safe. Okay, uh, that's the flyers shooting uh, complete. Uh, we've done that squad there. Let's go on to the warrior squad here. I'll do that off camera um, just because it's basic and un just interesting. Yeah. Okay, so end of the shooting for the Necrons. Uh, the fire, uh, warriors did fire through both these warrior squads and took out two or three more of four the groups. four of them yeah. from that squad. Okay. Um, so we'll go on to assaults. Uh, we've already got one happening down here with the uh, Overlord. Um, he's actually on four. Oh no, he got it back. He got his wound back, so he's five wounds. Uh, so we'll go here. I'll charge him with the uh, Praetorians. Sixes. So Overwatch. One six. One six, which becomes two hits. True. And we can't reroll anything, so one wound. One wound. Uh, negative two. Nope. One goes. Oh, one wound, actually. Two wounds each. Okay. And um, we'll go in, obviously auto, but we'll uh, surround them if we can. Uh, over here, the race, we'll go into this squad here. Okay. And um, I'll get Overwatch to death, okay. no doubt. Sixes. I only see I only one. one. <laughs> that was disappointing. Yep. All that right. turns into two, doesn't it? Yep, yep it does. No and wounds. Wound, they are within one. Uh, six inches of him, and that becomes one wound. Okay, save, yes. 2d6 to charge, and they're in. Okay, um, so these guys are in, we'll move that in, and then we'll get on to assaults. Okay, so assaults are over. Um, the uh, Mahim here uh, did actually cause six wounds to the lieutenant, and he's dead. Um, I advanced towards the nearest unit there. Uh, smacked the hell out of the Primaris that were here, and we've advanced, uh, not advanced, what's it called? Consolidated towards the nearest unit there. Um, and over here, we killed three. Yes. Yep, three Marines, and they struck back and took a wound off one of those. So there's one on full wounds and one on one wound there. Um, and that was it for the end of turn two for Necrons. Uh, we'll go on to is it really only turn two? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um, now, what did I get here? Nothing. I've secured this, so I've got to wait till the end of his turn to secure objective six, but all the rest of these are crap. I'm going to get rid of, yeah, I'm going to get rid of domination. Um, discard that. And we'll go on to turn two for uh, the Crimson Fists. Um, so just an addendum to my last turn, I, you're probably going to tell me in the comments I should have charged the uh, banner with the race. I, mean, I totally forgot we could charge um, characters. I keep thinking the shooting rule applies and assaults, but it doesn't. Uh, but anyway, um, going on to turn uh, two for uh, the Crimson Fist. The two models have pulled out of combat there. All the rest have stayed still there and pulled back onto objective five with those guys. Stayed still with the missile launchers. Um, so you go straight on to shooting phase, I guess. Yep. There will be two missiles and a bolter at your character there. Two missiles, bolter there. The yep. Two missiles at that scythe. At the scythe, okay. So I'll start with this one. Mm -hmm. Two missiles. That's a miss, that's a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably going to win. Tumptus 5. Fails to win. Yep, fails to win. Um, the, the bolter. Mm -hmm. Hit. Mm -hmm. That's a wound, and then these two at that one hits. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's, that's not. Wound. Do you want right. to re-roll that? There's a command points. Can... That'll yeah. get you valuable points there. Still fail. To Still fail. Those dice, you need those checked. <laughs> Start using mine if you want. <laughs> All right, uh, this unit will be using the last of my two command points. Yeah, what is that? Or a stratagem called rapid fire. So they're rapid firing their rapid fires? Incorrect. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> so they go from being rapid fire one to rapid fire two. 
Oh, yeah. And because they... And they're within 15 inches of their yep. target. So that's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20 shots. 20 shots from five guys. Not bad. Yep. All right. Of those 20. I'll just yep. roll two extras. Okay, that's a miss. Yep. Those misses. Sixes are there. And then there's plenty of sixes. So mm -hmm. there will be six extra hits. Mm hmm Is against the Praetorian, so yes. I'm assuming. Yep. So that's eight wounds at negative two. Negative two, eight wounds. Okay, these become five up saves. One, so this guy dies. Another one dies, and another one dies. So three die. Um, he will overcharge his plasma at that doom side. Mm -hmm. Um, missing both shots. Ooh. Does he get to re-roll? Yep. Nope. Oh, that's right. Everything's gone. Um, they will fire at... Oops, sorry. Oh, good. Easy, very easy to hit. Yep. Um, that unit will fire at the wraiths. Mm -hmm. It's going to be six shots. Can't be wrong in that. Mm -hmm. There's a six in there. Gets an extra shot. Oh, yep. Only on fives. Right, so one. Just the one. Yep, safe from a wraith. Okay. Um, I'd be amazed if these wraiths survive. They're going to. Uh, he's going to fire next. Hit once. That wound. They can't fire because they fell back. The bat hunter will shoot as well. Mm, two extra hits. hits. But not the wounds. Oh, yeah, yep. good point. Two, two, two extra, extra wounds. wounds. Yep. Uh, Oh, I failed to. I know what I meant. Yeah, yeah, we know what you meant. Um, yep, failed to win still, and mm -hmm. that just leaves him. He's going to throw a crack grenade. Yep. And miss. And miss. Wow. Okay. Therefore, everyone who can is going to charge a race. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah. No, okay, so no points uh, gained, but a good round for the Space Marines to catch up. Those races are dangerous, and he's dealt with them pretty, pretty well. Um, and now those units are in combat. Yeah, um, discard psychological warfare. Okay, he's discarding psychological warfare. It's fair enough. Um, it's very hard to make the, the Necrons uh, fail a test. Okay, uh, so we'll go on to Necron turn three. Um, I've already secured objective six, so I've taken that out and I'll um, generate some more coming into turn three. Okay, Necron turn three. Um, just uh, we have generated uh, extra objectives here. I've still got the two uh, objective five um, missions there. Uh, one is to hold and one is to secure. I've got psychological warfare, which is to make him fail a morale test and assassinate, which is kill characters. He's only got two left. This guy yep. and the, the banner, yep. Okay, so I've got to try and get one of those this turn. Uh, moved up here with the Overlord Mahim. He's going towards that unit there. There's nothing else for him to do. Uh, there's Objective 2 here as well, so if he survives that unit, um, he can move on to that later. Uh, Praetorians have surrounded that unit. Objective 5. Oh, I haven't moved the flyers. I better do that. Um, otherwise, they disappear. Um, I'll go do that off camera. Um, moved up here with the Warriors and here with the Warriors as well, still uh, on Objective 4 just in case. I didn't move with the Stalker. So we'll go into shooting. Um, I'll do it all off camera. I think at this stage there's nothing really exciting to be seen at this stage. Um, we'll go on to shooting. Okay, shooting uh, done for turn 3 Necrons. Not great. Um, I ended up firing the um, Stalker here at uh, the closest unit that was there. I took out one model. Um, these guys then fired at the same unit, took them out. Um, 
over here this unit, fired over here at a unit and killed only wounded one, I think. Wounded one, yeah. Yep, and then the last wound was taken off by the Tesla from the flyer up there. Um, I killed the Hell Blaster that was there using the flyer as well. Over here, the flyer did, he killed one? Yeah, one. Killed the yep. just killed the sergeant um, over here. So we're gonna go on to assaults now and definitely going to make several assaults. So we're gonna assault over here. Sure. Uh, so you get some overwatch there. Ooh, yeah. Sixes. Sixes. Three extra hits. Sixes, yeah. Hitting on five, stuffness five. Yeah, so just two. Two, three up saves. Oh, they neg anything? Yeah, uh, neg doesn't two. matter. Five ups, yeah. all good. Um, so they'll go in, automatic, because they're only an inch away. So they'll go in. Uh, over here. Mahim's going to charge in. <laughs> All right. Yep. Crack missiles. Yep. None hit. He needs three to get within one inch. I'm sure he can do that. Yep. He can. Five. Okay. And right. over here, the warriors. Oh, sure. Want to go into your captain? Yep. Or whatever he is. Throw a free grenade with. Six. Six. <laughs> nice. Uh, Any wants. And wounding once. Wounding once. So <laughs> four up save. Nope. One warrior goes down. Okay. Uh, warriors charging in. Uh, three inches. <laughs> Thankfully, that's enough. <laughs> uh, we'll move them in and uh, we'll go into assaults. We'll do those off camera as well. Oh, yeah, the wraith. The race is going to go into that pesky bloody. Yep, sure. Yeah, that stupid thing. So there it is. Rifle and miss. Yep. <coughs> and that's plenty. He'll go in there. Okay. Right. Assaults. Turn three. Right, so the assault phase um, didn't go as planned. I, I did kill units, of course. Um, so over here, Mahim uh, took out three of the Marines and they did no damage on return. Uh, there's only one Primaris there uh, left after that assault. I did forget to actually shoot their pistols in the uh, shooting phase, which probably would have killed one or two of them, um, but whoops. Uh, over here, I actually lost seven... Um, I lost <laughs> one warrior to Overwatch um, charging in there, and I uh, lost seven in combat. Um, and I only managed to put the captain down to two wounds. Lieutenant. Yeah, or oh, lieutenant down to two wounds. Um, over here, and I whiffed with the wraith in combat there. The standard is left on one wound, so I have not succeeded with assassinate this turn. Um, but that is it. We'll go on to turn three for the uh, um, crimson fists. Yeah, so uh, turn three for Crimson Fist. The Marines over here and the two characters have pulled out of combat there behind the barricade, uh, leaving the Warriors and the Wraith on their own. The Incessors? Intercessors. Intercessors. <laughs> I'm and struggling with the names. The wall and the Inceptors are dropping in down here. Yeah, okay, so they're dropping in there um, nicely within rapid fire. Are they? Uh, they're all three. Assault three, okay, right. Uh, over here, the um, remaining intercessor is staying put. Uh, the missile launcher has gone towards objective two, just pulled out of combat there. So there's not really a lot of shooting to go on here. You've literally just got- Really them. <laughs> just them to shoot, so you might as well go ahead and do that. What's your plan? Uh, let's see, so it's 24 shots. Into the warriors? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good choice. 18. Mm -hmm. 28 hits. Yep. And winding on threes, I assume. So, 15. 21 wounds. 21 wounds on 11. What negatives is it? Uh, negative two at the moment. 
Okay, so I've got the five up involved from the cryptic. Okay, five ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and they're gone. Good shooting, buddy. Destroyed them. It leaves old uh, Warlord here on his own. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. All right. Straight into the combat. Straight into combat uh, over here. Uh, actually, straight into charging would be Can you? this guy. Just the one guy? Just charging yep. there. Charging in. Yep. And then, yeah. Okay, so attack with him. So, Go for it. Uh, he will get four attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, three hits. We on fives. That's one wound. wound. Safe. <laughs> it's almost a one. Almost a one. Um, I'll fight back then with that Wraith. Uh, you got no more other attacks to do. Oh, just over here. Yep. So one sergeant or whatever he is. No wounds. Okay. Yep. Fails to wound. Toughness five over there. Okay. So here's the Wraith attacking back. He on threes. Wounding on threes. It's a wound. Neg two. Two damage. Safe. Unbelievable. This guy is surviving, but he's not doing anything. Um, okay, over here. Um, just remove him. Yeah, he's <laughs> neg three on all their attacks. He's gone. Uh, right, okay. So that's the end of your turn. Do you get any cards this turn? No. You don't? Nope. What did you have? You had Supremacy, uh, Defend supremacy, three. Supremacy, which would be all three objectives. I'm standing on two. Yep. Uh, in fact, now I'm sitting on one. Yep. Um, defend objective three and defend objective four. Well, three's in the center. Three's here, four's, four's over here. I've still got that. Yep. Warriors and big game hunter. I didn't even shoot it. The flies on the Yep. Ship. Yep. This Fair ignition. enough. Okay, so we're heading on to turn four. Um, yeah, a bit sad that I lost that unit. There was quite a few to reanimate. I was looking forward to that roll. Uh, but that warrior squad is gone and the warlord is left on his own. Um, so both of us with no command points left, um, we're virtually flying blind um, because all of our objectives are just really bad <laughs> because we keep taking the good ones off each other. Yeah. Um, so yeah, interesting matchup. Uh, let's go on to turn four for Necrons. Right, Necrons are closing in on the final remaining uh, Primaris Marines over here. Um, so the uh, Praetorians have moved full 10 inches towards uh, the units here. I did question whether or not to do it with all those heavy bolter um, Marines uh, up there, but I think the pressure needs to be put on now. Um, I've got a couple of potential um, missions to get uh, this turn. So I automatically got turn, uh, secure turn uh, objective three with um, the Master Cryptic. Um, I've got Assassinate still available. I reckon I can do that. So I've moved the Wraith up and over. So there's only one wound left on that, um, the Standard Bearer there, or the Ancient. Is it an Ancient? ancient yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, advanced to get out of my uh, deployment zone. Not gonna do that. Um, so there's a couple of things I can do here. Um, moved up with the Conga line of Warriors here. Just gonna leave that up like that. Uh, anyway, they're conga lining through there um, towards those units. I think even with shooting, there is a little bit of range for this guy, maybe onto one of these units here. Um, so I might be able to actually get one of the characters with shooting, as long as I can get rid of the um, Primaris Marines there. Uh, and Mahim's come over close to objective two and he'll assault that. Um, Guy. All right, we'll go shooting and I'll show you what happened. In fact, we'll probably just do shooting and assaults yeah. and then just see what happens at the end. All right, uh, turn four for the Necrons is complete. Uh, so various shooting um, from around the table. I did it in such a sequence so that the closest model to the most hard hitting units were um, the uh, yeah, the characters, was a, um, there was a lieutenant there and he was taken out by the Doomsythe who um, the other units were cleared out by the other units around. 
um, and he ended up sniping him with the large cannon and blatted him on a six damage roll, which was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yep, can't survive that. Um, that was pretty much it. Killed all the Marines around there. Um, got the assassinate off, so um, got an objective there. Went into combat with the Wraith. Um, no damage in Overwatch, of course, because it's still alive, but no damage in combat for either side either. Um, he activated his relic and gave himself a three up invulnerable save. So um, he saved both the wounds that came through from the Wraith, which would have outright killed him, any one of those. Um, so still alive and still locked in combat. Um, looking a bit grim, of course, for the uh, Marines right now. Uh, the only models left on the table are the, the five models there. Um, so we'll go on to turn four for the Crimson Fists and see what can be done. All right, so uh, Crimson Frist turn four, complete uh, movement from the, the two units over here, uh, back slightly with the banner just behind this this um, container, and then they fired through at the warrior unit that was here. Still kind of is here. There's one remaining with the Cryptek there. So he killed 12 uh, with the intercessors. Interceptors. Interceptors. And then um, seven more ran away. Of course they did. Uh, so there's one left and I can roll for 12 more to get back up, 13 more, sorry, uh, but seven will not be able to be reanimated. They have left the battlefield. Uh, so that is turn four. Uh, we're going on to turn five, potentially the last turn of the game. Um, for the Necrons, no cards on your side complete? No. Okay. So we'll go on to turn five for the Necrons. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, turn five for Necrons has been complete and the end of the game has been complete. Uh, we um, reanimated just a few of the warriors over here and moved on to objective four back there out of sight of the intercess interceptors. Um, we moved the flyers over this way, uh, just within range of the interceptors. Um, Mahim took objective two. I ended up getting Overwhelming firepower and hold the line this turn. Uh, and a secure objective too. So three points that turn. Um, so yeah, we moved across with the uh, Praetorians. They fired at the... Actually, who did I kill? No, everything, these two, the two Doomsides, sorry, fired after the Triarch Stalker fired at them, um, at the uh, Interceptors and um, they were destroyed. Um, good shooting from the, um, the Doomsides there. Uh, they were wiped out, and then the last remaining model was the uh, Standard Bearer Ancient, and um, he died in combat uh, after these guys did shoot at him, and he saved himself uh, several times, uh, but then they charged in, and the overwhelming number of attacks brought him down finally. So that is the end of this battle. Um, I don't think there's real much point of looking at points. No. Um, yeah, as an overwhelming victory for the Necrons. Good feeling, but bittersweet because that first turn sort of felt a little bit too much. Um, there was what, 14 Hellblasters dead like and the Chapter Master dead in turn one yeah. just from one stratagem. Time. Yeah, <laughs> one stratagem just like wiped them out. So several hundred points gone. Um, yeah, good game though. Thanks very much for playing. Thank you. And it's nice to see a very, very nice looking army on the table. Um, yeah, beautifully painted. And I think a really competitive army as well. Um, having no vehicles, it really takes a lot of firepower away from um, units like this that are you know, specifically designed to kill vehicles. Sure, I was able to snipe you know, some, some models here and there with the Doom, uh, sorry, the Death Rays and you know, a couple of last shots from him. But um, it, all in all, the, they were only effective really for that stratagem. Um, yeah, otherwise I think, I think the Necrons did all right. Yeah. Um, we were just discussing if I didn't pull off that stratagem for turn one, it would have been a totally different story. It's very, very, Absolutely. yeah, um, very powerful army with all those boulder shots and the Hellblasters. 
they would have absolutely ripped through this army. So I'm very thankful that I did get that stratagem off and did do some damage because uh, otherwise it would have been a totally different story. So I'm keen for a rematch. Yes. He is too. Very good. Um, so we'll see uh, later on. Maybe I'll paint up the Seraptech construct. If we've got time, we could do it off camera now and just fill it in. <laughs> <laughs> True, we could have another one now. Um, anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching. It was a really good game. Um, nice armies on the table and um, nice opponent to play against as well. So thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.